beautiful beings of the universe hello and welcome to now it's a bright beautiful day and i came out with my lovely bike which i always do in the park uh into near the river right because the river is is your teacher like i talked about in my previous videos the river teaches you how to live and sometimes you also need to uh, embrace the fire element in you that means you need to take on that courage and bring out the fire inside of you so when your haters challenge you or they show you that they just do not like you and they are so much upfront on your face, you use that energy. And at this point in time, what we do is we take that energy and turn that around into guess what? Into your own power. So many times, like I said, the warrior might feel weak and they might feel that, oh, I'm lacking the energy. Well, super easy. Just step out. And there you'll find a lot of people who do not like you, who basically do not want you that you exist. Because if you are a high vibing person, your existence is a threat to them. What do you do next? So you just keep being you. You keep on continuing that path that you have undertaken for yourself. And sometimes if you feel that you're lost, that's all right. There might be a little bit of confusion that comes along the way. But like I said, it's a dance of yin and yang. Of If you are the light, there would be darkness around. There will be a lot of dark entities that would be attracted to you who would be there on your path just to challenge you. So utilize all of that because you're going to use that energy now and uh, make that work in your own favor, right? And that's the essence of the yin yang and the energy of the dark and the light. You embrace that darkness that probably you got inside of yourself and you just learn how to uh, empower through your own very shadow side that that's precisely the work of Carl Jung and uh, if you are doing the shadow work definitely you've got to face uh, these sorts of darkness within and outside so you got to make sure that you are you are keeping yourself updated you are learning the things that your soul and spirit wants you to learn keep at it just never give up because the moment you have given up and you think it's just getting too hard for me probably you have not just tested yourself enough you get you need to just test those uh, those places your point of limits just keep pushing through that and as Nisargadatta Maharaj says that see all of these goals that you are setting for yourself is precisely for the fact that you want to know yourself and how do you know yourself is by getting to know your desires and while you're on the way to uh, achieving that what are your uh, what are your resistances what are your points where you feel challenged sometimes from the outside world and more than the outside, it's all your inner uh, limitations, right? So you feel, oh, I cannot do that. So for example, for me, going out on my bike uh, for uh, little longer distances used to feel very scary. Why? Because I thought that people on the street would just make fun of me, which they do. I don't care now anymore. I just make sure that uh, I'm sticking to the rules. And as long as I'm sticking to the rules, that's fine. The problem is when you are, uh, when you are just listening to others who try to belittle you, and that actually takes you nowhere. So do not listen to the noise around that tells you that that they're laughing at you. Let them laugh at you because they're laughing at you because they themselves have not achieved nothing in their life. You've got to stick to your own self and you've got to, to take yourself to a better place where, where you feel that, well, you just feel proud to be you. That That's the entire game. That's the entire thing that's needed. There's It's not about pleasing somebody else. It's about you stepping up for your own self. You've got to take that ownership, that responsibility. Have a great day, my friend. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.